Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. We're proud, happy, and thrilled that you're with us. So come on in and sit down. Let's talk about your life and relationships with your family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, your boss. Nobody's off limits. I'm licensed psychologist, Dr. Claudia McCulloch, your host, answering your questions, America. Call me at 833 400 or go online at drclaudia.net. Click on the Ask Me button. On Facebook, I'm at Dr. Claudia McCulloch, M-C-C-U-L-L-O-C-H, cha-cha-cha. Here's Kimmy. That's right. We're answering your questions. Here's Kimmy. His parents don't like me. I mean, they really don't like me. I've been with my boyfriend for a year, and we both agree that this is going to move forward, likely to marriage. So we thought it was time to meet the parents. We traveled all the way across the country. And when they opened the door, both of them sneered. It appeared to be a natural reaction. I know they've seen pictures of me. So what's the problem? Could they have orchestrated and practiced this? Throughout the weekend, they all talked to each other. When my boyfriend tried to include me in the conversation, they ignored me. I wanted to leave that first night, but we stayed, and it was the same through the next day. At that point, my boyfriend said, enough is enough. You'll never see us again, and we left. Oh, they had nothing to say at that point. I think I know what the answer is to this, but what is wrong with these people? He told me that he always had problems with them because they're very judgmental and critical people. Oh, this is so far beyond judgment and critical. What do we do now? Okay, let's answer the easy stuff first because, you know, it's Friday. (laughs) So what do you do now? Nothing. You lead your lives as if they don't exist. They will not be part of your relationship we know that he's already up to here with them they've obviously had a lot of skirmishes and likely a very tense relationship and this was the veritable straw in the camel once he saw this he said there's no going back he stood right there and said to himself i've got to make a decision It's her or them. And maybe part of what he was thinking, Kimmy, is that they are my past and she is my future. And she's nothing like them. And I'm blessed because I'm nothing like them. So I'm going to go forward. And this is what I'm going to say to them. Clearly, they're abusive people. I, I don't. How did this guy come out unscathed? He made. Did he have siblings? Who kind of showed him the way? Was he involved in all kinds of outside of home activities that taught him how to be, oh, I don't know, a human being? Okay, now for the tougher stuff. Oh, this is the stuff that's really interesting to me. I just have to say, tell you that, Kimmy. They are perfectly capable of orchestrating and practicing this response to you once you open the door. Listen to me carefully, Kimmy. This is something you have to really code. People are capable of anything and everything. I have to take an aside here. I was reading an article about a man at Facebook who died at his screen. Now, obviously, he had underlying health problems. But the job was so stressful because when videos were flagged as being inappropriate content, he had to watch that stuff. I am not going to scar your soul with that list that I saw of things that people submitted on Facebook. He has seen some of the worst that humanity has to offer. And one day he just died. When people say to me, oh, they're not capable of murder. 
oh, they're not capable of that. Slap yourselves. People are capable of anything and everything given the right circumstances. That moment where their brains and their will and their rules are weak. I know I've told you I was on the witness stand testifying in a pretty nasty child abuse trial. And someone kept saying to me, well, he doesn't fit the profile. He doesn't fit the profile. Yeah, maybe he doesn't, but this is what he did. And then the judge started in on me, asking me about how we can tell who's a child abuser. And true to form, I looked right at him and I said, how do I know you're not a child abuser? Ooh, that didn't go well. And I said, so he, you know, appropriately scolded me. And I said, it's the truth. Who would ever think that a priest would do the things that, that many priests have been accused of doing? Boy Scout leaders, coaches, seriously, people are hiding in plain sight. The worst people in the world are hiding in plain sight. So, yes, your potential in-laws could have orchestrated it for dramatic effect, but this is who they are. And they agreed to alienate alienate you and isolate you from the very beginning. And I really bet they they weren't warm and nurturing and fuzzy and goofy with their son either. Of course, this guy might actually be the black sheep of the family. He's the one who made it out alive. Probably a title worth having in this family, don't you think? But these two they are likely to have a number of debilitating psychiatric conditions, including narcissism. Nobody's good enough for my daughter. Nobody's good enough for my son. That's how they think. And they think that that is right-headed. That's a right-headed way to go. But they think they're so much better than anybody else. How could you possibly be good enough for their son? Now, these two folks, they may also have some form of an attachment disorder where they can't even bond with their own son because they likely had disordered relationship with their own parents. Now, they're sadistic. That's not a diagnosis. That's a description. And considering that both of his parents act this way, now, this is something that you're going to be interested in here in this uh, whole discussion here, Kimmy. They may have something called folie a deux. Crazy with two. Or crazy in two. And this is where one of the persons has a delusion, which means they think there are aliens. You can't talk them out of it, even though there's no evidence, allegedly. These are people who believe things for which nobody else agrees or few other people agree, and there's actually no evidence. Or they may have a shared psychosis, meaning that nobody agrees to the reality that is their reality. So if you have a husband or wife, and let's just say he's the one who has severe mental illness, and in order to cope, She joins in. Now, all in all, this is very ugly, obviously, and extremely unhealthy. And perhaps it's time for you and your honey bunny to have a serious talk about what his childhood looked like, how his siblings, if any, have fared in life. Because if both of his parents are mentally ill, what does that say about your child's chances from inheriting something from them? Now, I'd sit down with a therapist for a few sessions to get a sense of what this is. And the therapist obviously cannot diagnose them, but can dance around the subject by saying things my concern would be about getting X, Y, and Z. Then talk about whether or not the science supports any genetic link. Now, you must be relieved that they live so far away so they just can't drop in, but... um, Uh, I think you need to surround yourself with healthy people and kiss these potential in-laws. Goodbye. 
Good luck, Kimmy. Dr. Claudia wants to hear from you. Ask your question, 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button. If you are trying to quit drinking or doing too many drugs, listen to me. You don't know me and we'll never meet. I had a problem like you once. I drank and used to party a little too much till it got out of control and almost ruined my life. I realized I needed help to fix my problem before it totally destroyed me. If you've tried to fix your drinking and drug problem and you know you can't do it alone, you need to call the National Treatment Advisors. They'll immerse you into a 30-day program to replace your old habits with new habits and totally change your life. And if you have PPO, private health insurance, the entire program may be covered. Fix your problem right now before it gets any worse. Get clean. Call now and learn more. 800-506-6740. 800-506-6740. That's 800-506-6740. Are you from California, Illinois, New York, Georgia, or any of the other 39 states that charge state income tax? Does your state claim you owe them any amount of back taxes? Or have you not filed in years? Is your heart pounding because you know they're wrong or you just don't have the money? Don't fight the state income tax board alone. The tax doctor is here to help you. The state is much more aggressive than the IRS in collecting taxes. They have the power to take your home, your car, your drive and business licenses, even garnish your wages, freeze your bank accounts, and go after your spouse. Solve all your income tax problems permanently and keep more of your hard-earned money. Make this 100% guaranteed risk-free call right now. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. That's 800-262-4182. Some knowledge belongs to us and us alone. The way our girlfriends walk, the way they talk, the way they touch their hair. We hold details that only a sister can know about her girls. But what about our other girls? The ones that we carry with us every day. Can we describe them when everything's right? Can we feel when something's wrong? Our bond with our sister girls gives life. But knowing your breasts can save it. Go to knowyourgirls.org for the facts you need on breast health. That's knowyourgirls.org. Brought to you by Susan G. Coleman and the Ad Council. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance. Say hi, guys. When I adopted them, I discovered that they both have incredible personalities. Chance's sole purpose in life is to love and to be loved. Frankie is a little bit of a scoundrel and always entertaining. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. 
Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie's Fund. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. On the Dr. Claudia Show, we talk about the things that matter, your life and your relationships. Here's Mona. Mona writes, I really want to tell my boyfriend of four months that I love him, but I'm really anxious about it. I can't tell if he feels the same way. I don't know how I'll react if he doesn't say anything back or says something like something guy like such as ditto or me too. What if he says nothing? I've never been in love before. And despite being 26, I'm really new to all of this. I went right from college into medical school, which I will be finishing this year. And so there's been no time for learning how to have these kinds of relationships All of it has been really intense, and it isn't going to get any better over the next few years as I make my way through internship and residency. What should I do? Oh, my goodness. Mona, you really are behind things, aren't you? And I really appreciate and respect your devotion to your profession, but you really are allowed to have a life. Even if you're in medical school, dental school, law school, any of that, you're allowed to have a life. Okay, so you're absolutely sure you're in love with this guy, and he's the first love of your life, and you barely have time for him now, and you'll have no time for even sleep in the next three to five years, and you think this is going to work out? Because you haven't had time for relationships before, And you may have noticed that as you progress through your training, the requirements are fast and furious. They just throw you into the deep end of the pool. And it's the same if you're going to be a psychologist. You start training and suddenly you're in a a university-based clinic and people are coming to you and they're in serious trouble for the most part. So I've got my doubts on this whole thing about your expectations of the relationship. I think you think that this is going to be a long-term relationship, perhaps. I want you to start thinking about this as a sample. So this is an experimental guy right here. Because I've seen this whole medical school situation up close and personal, and it's like nothing you've ever experienced before. I've watched long-term established relationships not survive it. And this is just a warning. Enjoy your honey bunny while you can. Learn what you need to learn or whatever comes your way. And remember... There are no guarantees that you're going to get that internship match that you're looking for. And long-distance relationships with people who have no time for local relationships, come on, be realistic. You're a smart girl. And I know you don't have a lot of judgment about this kind of thing, but jump in. Tell him you love him. See what happens. Because whatever you learn from this relationship you can apply to the next one. It's like seeing this patient and your attending says, or your internship supervisor says, well, you should have asked this question because you know this and this is connected. Okay, you won't make that mistake again because those kinds of lessons 
from your attending resident and from your internship supervisor, which is usually another resident, um, it usually comes with a pretty good dose of humiliation and stripping the skin off of your body. Mm-hmm. Now, I know I'm sounding very negative, but I am a real girl. I am realistic about what can and cannot be accomplished. But know this, in case you're looking for some of what research has to say, is that men usually make a declaration of love first. And they're usually happier than women when receiving these confessions of love. But everyone has their own pace based on personality differences, experiences, on average, honestly, it takes men, Mona, about 88 days to tell a partner they love them. We girls, nah, 134. So there we go. About three months as compared to four months. But some men just can't help themselves, and nearly 40% of men say it within the first month. We girls were a little bit more restrained. But then about a quarter of us usually blurt it out. My best advice is to say, I love you when you're fairly sure your partner feels the same. And if they don't, they shouldn't say anything. I mean, it's okay for them to say, right now, I really like you a lot. I don't know where this is going. But men and women both should not respond to declarations of love in kind because it's a big deal now your situation is unique because i don't think you've had age appropriate experiences with love and you're going into a relationship that is super high risk enjoy it while you can no expectations but do brace for impact mona really it's all you can do keep going stay with that medical career do the best you can you will find the right relationship at the right time this is the dr claudia show dr claudia is ready to answer your questions call now 833-400-5050 that's 833-400-5050 If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. Ouch! Well, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers. Here's what our customers had to say. Painless. No more pricking my finger. No finger pricks. Convenience. They delivered it free, and they took care of all the paperwork. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, a CGM can help you. It's accurate, easy to use, and if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Plus, get free shipping of your new CGM and we can bill Medicare for you. Honestly, I had my doubts, but that new CGM is painless. Call now. 800-712-8002. 800-712-8002. 800-712-8002. That's 800-712-8002. The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. (laughs) The Dad Joke. Corny, groan-worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. (laughs) And kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. (laughs) And with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment and give your kid a laugh. (laughs) It's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. (laughs) That's really funny. Sweet strawberry icing. 
You were strolling along in goodwill when just past that mid-century side table and denim jacket you spotted them, nestled in their display case. Miniature donut earrings. Oh, yes! Yes! Your favorite half-breakfast pastry, half-all-day dessert food, made into your favorite form of ear candy. Oh, my. Those bejeweled sprinkles have satisfied some unknown hunger within you. Shh, do you smell that? That's the sugary scent of shopping success. For this is Goodwill. And with every item you buy, you fund local job training and more. So go forth. Bring home those donut earrings. And bring home so much good to your community. Goodwill. Bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Wake up and text. Text and eat. Mm -mm. Text and catch the bus. Text and miss your stop. Wait, 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 wait. Text and be late to work. Sorry, I'm late. Text and work. Text and pretend to work. Text and act surprised when someone calls you out for not working. <clears throat> Who, me? Text and meet up with a friend you haven't seen in forever. Hi. Oh, hey. Text and complain that they're on their phone the whole time. Ugh. Text and listen to them complain that you're on your phone the whole time. Ugh. Text and whatever. But when you get behind the wheel, give your phone to a passenger. Put it in the glove box. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. That's doihaveprediabetes.org. Wait, did they just say one in three adults has pre-diabetes? That's 33.33333% of adults. That means it could be me, my boss, or my boss's boss, or me, my favorite sister, or my other sister. That's seven members of my 21-person romantic book club. <gasps> Wait, the one in three could be me, my karaoke partner Carol, or ugh, my karaoke enemy Jeff. I'm going to take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Opiates has taken everything and everyone I've ever loved away from me. Everything. I blew my ankle out and I got prescribed pain pills by my doctor. If making my detox public is going to help somebody, I'm all for it. I just wish I would have had a warning. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth. Spread the truth. A message from Truth, the Ad Council, and ONDCP. For those fortunate enough to help the person who has always been their hero, AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help at aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. We're going to go to our callers and see what's on their mind. This is Francis. Francis, welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. What's up? Hi, Dr. Claudia. How are you? I'm great. Good. I just have a question for you. I've got two children, a son who is 14 and a daughter who's eight. Mm -hmm. And um, we just have to deal with a very toxic grandfather. So okay. um, he's a person that, you know, pops up here and there in their lives, whenever it's convenient. And I just want to know how do we deal with that and how can that not hurt? 
kids' feelings. As, I mean, it hurts our feelings as parents to see that. Mm-hmm. But I just want to know, how does that affect kids? Now, um, toxic in what way? Because he chooses not to be in their lives and he just pops in and expects the royal grandpa treatment or what? Yes. Is he mental? Okay. Yes, exactly. All right. Oh, now, Francis, you probably have been listening to and watching the show. Is it your whiff yes. from this guy that he's narcissistic? It's all about him all the time? Yes. Okay. And so when he pops into their lives, what kinds of activities or just does he happen to come over just for dinner time? Does he actually engage them or is it all about him? Well, the thing is, um, he had a fallout with my husband, which is my kid's father, mm-hmm. and for two years, and we recently moved out to Rhode Island, and we've been here for two years as, you know, his the grandfather stayed in California, so, mm-hmm. you know, it was something that his my husband's father did, and it, it really hurt my husband's feelings, and he just stopped talking to his own son and grandkids, and then all of a sudden, we just get a phone call once this last... Um, summer that he's in town and he wants to see us or the kids and my mm-hmm. husband so um the mm-hmm. last time i was not there i chose not to be there because it wouldn't you know i would mm-hmm. have a lot of questions and i didn't want to right you know not in I front of the, the kids. situation uncomfortable over dinner i right. just have a lot of questions and it just wouldn't mm-hmm. be nice you know it wouldn't right. be nice to have you there so i just so figured, it's you know let them have their own Thing, but um, I well, what I was told from my husband, he was engaging. He took the kids shopping, kind of like, oh, my mm-hmm. wallet's open, so let me buy you everything, you know? Right, right. But my well, husband <laughs> put a yeah, stop to exactly. that. Like, he told him, hey, you don't have to buy them everything, you know? Like, it's well, okay, what, like, I will pay for this, this don't do this. <laughs> this is really an important lesson. And your eight year old daughter, she is at the age of reason. And you can have a more candid conversation with your 14-year-old. But this is a golden Mm -hmm. moment. This is an opportunity for them to learn about how people work. So one of the things I Mm -hmm. say is, you want to know why people do the things they do? You know, stick around. Mm -hmm. I would sit down with uh, your son and talk to him about different personality styles because he's going to encounter these people and he probably has them in his life now give him an emotional educational head start call it what it is Mm -hmm. you know your grandfather he may have now you know son i'm not a psychologist and it wouldn't be right to diagnose him anyway but when we see people who insist on having relationships go the way they want to and you're kind of mm-hmm. like the sidecar, and he's always driving. Yes. He'll he'll come into your life, or she'll come she'll come into your life when she wants to. And it's all about mm-hmm. their own needs, and we call that narcissism. Mm-hmm. And you can even talk to him exactly. about about the. Um, and I would have the book open to talk about Narcissa, who is a you know a mythical story. But it's all about that guy mm-hmm. who couldn't stop looking at himself in the reflection in the pond because pictures, you know, speak a thousand words. Mm-hmm. Now, it, let him know it's not about him. It's all about what's going on with this other guy. Boy, oh boy, Francis, if we had had this kind of education when we were growing up, it would really would have helped. We would have made fewer yeah. mistakes. When it comes down to <laughs> your daughter, yes, now when it comes down to your daughter... Let her know that, you know, people, people sometimes make mistakes and they don't realize it and they hurt your feelings. And Grandpa really does mm-hmm. love you, but he has kind of a funny way of, of, uh, of showing it. He, he's not there all the time. Now, let me ask you, are your parents involved in their lives? Yes. My, I, I was raised by a single mother and she mm-hmm. is... Um, we call her every day, we FaceTime, and she's yeah. always been the right. positive support oh. and the only grandparent that, right. you know, oh, that so this is great. loves them and is always there present. And this is a perfect, oh, you, you are so fortunate. I'm sorry for your pain, but what do we do here? We take straw and weave it into gold, baby. Weave it into gold because yes. 
we cannot let these golden moments go by without using them to teach our children. You know how, whatever she calls your mother, grandma calls you every day and she's really interested and you know she really loves you. And grandpa, whatever his name is, he does it this way. And so it's really important for you to understand that people have different ways of showing you that they love you. She doesn't care about narcissism. We're not going to talk to this little mm-hmm. girl about, you know, psychopathology. <laughs> right now, we're yeah. just going to say these people love you. They just show you in a different way. Which way feels better to you? Well, grandma. Okay, then. Grandma's the way you're going to go. You're going to show people that you love them and care about them, and you maintain contact with them. That's really healthy. So we stay away from the good and the bad, the right and the wrong, and we go with healthy and helpful. You know how helpful Grandma is to us. And Grandpa, he comes around every now and then, but we care about him anyway. You don't have to go as far to say you love him because we don't want there to be any lying going on here. <laughs> but we care about him. We like to see him. And and that's really okay. That might be all we can ever have from Grandpa. And that's just the way it goes. Educate your children. And when they're old enough to get the words, labels, diagnoses, if you will, to attach to these these sets of behaviors it teaches kids so that if they have a friend who's just a taker 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 you know your son might say to himself oh my gosh you're such a narcissist i don't want to have anything to do with this because i'm always going to be giving look at the head start he has in life as a result mm-hmm. it's it's amazing Great. awesome so um give that a go See what kind of feedback you get from your kids. And as they get a little older and maybe start asking questions because you've proven yourself to be a receptive, approachable, non-judgmental parent, they know you will tell them without a lot of hysteria and emotionality what you know. And gee, what can this teach you about your life and the decisions that you're going to make? Francis, this is a great call. Thank you so much. And now we have um, Sally. Sally, what's going on with you? Hi. Hi. Um, well, I'm in my 74 to be exact. Okay. I've been a little for 19, it'll be 19 years, the 18th of this month. Wow. a couple relationships that haven't worked out. And mm-hmm. I'm just wondering, was my husband the last relationship that I should have? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And they don't have to be romance. They don't have to be romance. What you really need to guard against, because first of all, I can tell right away you're smart by the way you use your language and the way you have gotten out there. And your loss will be forever, and you know it. You know that you will never get over him, but you will cope with your losses. And so what we're looking at here is to stay engaged and keep being social. Don't be isolated. And what I'm going to do is we're going to come right back. Sally, can you hold on for a moment until we get through with this break? Because I really want to talk to you. You have a lot of wisdom and information to share with everyone. And I really do want to have time to answer your question. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. We'll be right back. Dr. Claudia wants to hear from you. Ask your question. 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer, and again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? 
low-cost airlines. With one call to low-cost airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome, Costa Rica, Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airline travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-221-6085. 800-221-6085. 800-221-6085. That's 800-221-6085. If you're trying to quit drinking or doing too many drugs, listen to me. You don't know me and we'll never meet. I had a problem like you once. I drank and used to party a little too much till it got out of control and almost ruined my life. I realized I needed help to fix my problem before it totally destroyed me. If you've tried to fix your drinking and drug problem and you know you can't do it alone, you need to call the National Treatment Advisors. They'll immerse you into a 30-day program to replace your old habits with new habits and totally change your life. And if you have PPO private health insurance, the entire program may be covered. Fix your problem right now before it gets any worse. Get clean. Call now and learn more. 800-506-6740. 800-506-6740. That's 800-506-6740. Hey, y'all. Jeff Foxworthy here. Now, if you've ever found yourself repeating the same thing over and over for 75 years, you might be Smokey Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. That's why I'm filling in for Smokey to switch things up, because there's a lot more to say. And I should know, because my grandfather was a firefighter, and one of the things he taught me is that the people that love the outdoors the most are often the ones accidentally starting wildfires, which means... Always B-Y-O-B. <laughs> no, bring your own bucket to the campfire. And be extra careful with things like burning yard trimmings. Don't just walk away, or chances are you might be starting a wildfire. So for the love of the outdoors, go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager. Learning the lingo. Today I'm going to help parents translate teen slang. Now, when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying, that's rad. It simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying, totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um, rad just the same. To learn more, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. You let him try violin because you love him. And if you love him that much, love him enough to make sure he's buckled up and in the back seat. Find out more at nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council.
Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. And before break, we were talking to Sally. She is 74 years old. She has been a widow since she was 54 or 55. And she's saying, is my husband... Was he the last relationship I'm going to ever have? And what did I say, Sally? You said no. I said <laughs> no. <laughs> that's right. Now, this in, that's, that's exactly it. Now, not, they don't have to be all romances. And because, you know, we oftentimes fall in love with our friends. And so if you continue... To socialize with other men, be it in a group or individually, there's a couple of things you need to know. When men and women, when we get into our 50s and 60s, the men take a dramatic turn. What they're looking for is no longer adventure and getting out there and scratching their itch. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. They are interested. I understand that. <laughs> they are interested in being nurtured and being dependent on us. Now, why is that a problem? Because girls like you and me, we want to get out there and have adventures and have fun, and we're kind of sick of taking care of people. So we're not looking for people to nurture. Now, that's just most people, and you might be different, but I'm saying to you, that as long as you are interested and you have the get up and go and you have the opportunity, just go socialize without the expectations of falling in love. And you might. You're far from done on this. But just <laughs> keep in mind that the man you loved and lived with and probably had a family with, he was unique and you have to look for the uniqueness in other men. So where do you go to yes. socialize? Well, um, I've kind of given up on a lot of socializing because I just moved to a new area. And um, there's not a lot of single, um, attractable men in the area that I live in. Um, mm -hmm. Not that I'm looking for, I'm looking for the soul, you know, the yeah. inner Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but there's not too many to choose from, and I think I have a wall built up. Um, yes. I ran a widow's group for 10 years, and um, I think being in that changed me a whole bunch in what I'm looking for. I'm not okay. a nurse. I don't want to take care of somebody right. that way. I want somebody yes. that's on the same level, and I'm yes. going to say so level as me. Yeah. So here's what you might want to look for. If you use a computer, go online and look for opportunities to, to learn to cook, to learn to dance. Go to the classes at a planetarium or something that is really just occurs to you that's interesting. It's fascinating how many people, senior people, start taking classes at a university just things that interest you. And you get to meet other people. Now, it's not that there might be somebody in the class, but maybe another student in the class has this fabulous grandpa and is going to introduce the two of you. <laughs> so you see what I mean? Seriously, Sally, you leapfrogged these kinds of relationships. I want you oh, to sit definitely. down. I, <laughs> I want you to sit down. And just kind of look around in your environment. Look at what's on television. Go down the guide and see what kinds of topics interest you. Then you say, okay, let me see. There's a university over here. I might take a class. Or look for adult education in your community. Cooking classes. And if you learn how to cook Chinese, just invite me over because I'm dying to take a class in that. And, and find out ways to expand yourself, and you will find people with shared interests who have your smarts, who want to be independent. Oh, and let me tell you this. 
There is this new trend going on called living apart together. Now, people, they don't want to get married, but they want to have a monogamous relationship. But we all know we're too set in our ways, and we do not want to live with somebody else, but we want them to be available. And that is an option, believe it or not. But what we know is that if you stay engaged, you aren't withdrawn, you aren't isolated, your lifespan is going to be longer, you are obviously going to enjoy your life more. It sounds like you have been working really hard for a long time. It's hard to get off that hamster wheel, Sally. Jump off, take some time and say, what am I interested in? And there might be a show and you go, oh my gosh, I'm so interested in that. Then find somebody who's I don't know, you might be interested in beekeeping. Find out who's doing beekeeping in your in your community because we're working hard to build up the bee colony, right? <laughs> and and so true. look at what look at what will happen. You will well, I'll find tell you, pe- to be perfectly honest with you, I've been I'm a dancer. I've been doing ballroom dancing for the last oh my god, oh. many, many years. Yes. I did I went to dances four nights a week. I, I've done everything possible to be out there, mm-hmm. um, and I've kind of given up because, you know, my love is dancing, mm-hmm. and I yes. go to so many dances, but I think that with the age population that I'm at, yeah. there's, there's opportunities. I'm not saying that there's not opportunities. Mm-hmm. It's just that the picking is slimmer. The picket is slimmer because the boys don't live as long as we do. And if you do something really physical like that, I think that you are overlooking an entire population of people. These guys, you know they fall down faster than we do, but they still have their smarts. I bet there are classes at a university that you can take, and it's not going to hurt you to hang out with the younger kids. Come on, because you've got that that kind of spirit. So... Think about yeah. taking a class at a university. Get yourself out there and show them how hot to trot you really are. I know that's kind of a ballroom dancing reference there, but but you <laughs> you need to get out there where people of like mindedness, maybe not like bodiedness, if that's such a thing. But keep going. Don't give up. And when you give us Call us back and let us have some hints about how you did it, Sally. This is the Dr. Claudia okay. Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. If you are trying to quit drinking or doing too many drugs, listen to me. You don't know me and we'll never meet. I had a problem like you once. I drank and used to party a little too much till it got out of control and almost ruined my life. I realized I needed help to fix my problem before it totally destroyed me. If you've tried to fix your drinking and drug problem and you know you can't do it alone, you need to call the National Treatment Advisors. They'll immerse you into a 30-day program to replace your old habits with new habits and totally change your life. And if you have PPO private health insurance, the entire program may be covered. Fix your problem right now before it gets any worse. Get clean. Call now and learn more. 800-506-6740. 800-506-6740. That's 800-506-6740. You're listening to The Dr. Claudia Show. Your life, your relationships. A Smilecom Media Production. The Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council present the story of Tom and Levi. Tom is the smartest man I know. He's been a professor at two major universities, he's been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, he told me that he was having um, problems in his classes. I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. And he was telling them that he was doing it as a favor to them, but I think in reality, he just wanted to get out of there. Um, I was really starting to worry because I saw something was wrong. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives, but he was there beside me, and my love for him was just immense. 
When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash ourstories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Some knowledge belongs to us and us alone. The way our girlfriends walk, the way they talk, the way they touch their hair. We hold details that only a sister can know about her girls. But what about our other girls? The ones that we carry with us every day. Can we describe them when everything's right? Can we feel when something's wrong? Our bond with our sister girls gives life. But knowing your breasts can save it. Go to knowyourgirls.org for the facts you need on breast health. That's knowyourgirls.org. Brought to you by Susan G. Coleman and the Ad Council. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> the Dad Joke. Corny. Grown worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. <laughs> and kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> and with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment and give your kid a laugh. <laughs> it's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. <laughs> That's really funny. Sweet strawberry icing. You were strolling along in goodwill when just past that mid-century side table and denim jacket you spotted them, nestled in their display case. Miniature donut earrings. Oh, yes! Yes! Your favorite half breakfast pastry, half all day dessert food, made into your favorite form of ear candy. Oh my. Those bejeweled sprinkles have satisfied some unknown hunger within you. Shh, do you smell that? That's the sugary scent of shopping success. For this is goodwill. And with every item you buy, you fund local job training and more. So go forth. Bring home those donut earrings. And bring home so much good to your community. Goodwill. Bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Good morning, Uglyville! Every ugly doll is unique. I'm Moxie. Bobo. Wait. Those close to me call me Slick Doll. Which is not his name. And every child is, too. They can be pretty lovable. That's why when you travel, you should make sure your child is in the right seat for their age and size. That sounds pretty great to me. Keep them safe by visiting NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Isn't that right, gibberish cat? <laughs> Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Next Thursday, you will be caught in an extreme flash flood. Disasters don't plan ahead, but you can. Talk to your loved ones about making an emergency plan. Get started today at ready.gov slash plan. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council.
Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. We're tickled pink that you're with us, so come on in and sit down. Let's talk about your life and relationships with your family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, your boss. Nobody's off limits. I'm licensed psychologist Dr. Claudia McCulloch, your host, answering your questions, America. Call me at 833-400-5050 or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button. At Facebook, I'm at Dr. Claudia McCulloch, M-C-C-U-L-L-O-C-H, cha-cha-cha. Let's go to Rob and uh, see what's on your mind. Rob, what's going on? Well, I've been married to my wife for 15 years, and she's always had a uh, volatile uh, temper, gets uh, easily triggered, stays uh, very angry for a long time, and I was, I've been suffering through uh, depression and anxiety over this, and yep. I saw a psychiatrist, and he had me on Prozac, and I got to a point where the Prozac wasn't doing anything. I get it used to it, and I started telling telling him about how she behaves, and he suggested that she might have borderline personality disorder. Yes. And I researched that online, and I've read four or five books on it, and it seems to fit her. Yes, she had a lot of childhood uh, child abuse from her father growing up, of and course. I, the way yeah. she describes her father, it sounds like he was borderline. And what yes. I'm calling and wanting to know is how do I live with her? How do I cope with her rages? Well, I I understand what you're asking, but I, I want everyone to understand, and, and I'm going to get to this no matter how long it takes us, okay? Uh, you are having a reactive depression. You have developed depression because you're chronically dumping those fear factor chemicals, adrenaline and cortisol. After a while, your body stops making the serotonin, the, the antidepressant you're supposed to have. You are embattled. And the reason that the Prozac isn't working anymore is because when you're dumping adrenaline and cortisol, those are life-saving chemicals. And they overrun anything. And I'm not surprised that the Prozac stopped working because you're dumping this stuff more and more and more. You go from one skirmish, one trauma drama to another. And I want you to keep yes, that in exactly. mind. Because, and, uh, um, well, let me ask you, how, starts, old, how old are you and do you she, have any children in the house? I'm 65. All okay. our kids are uh, up and grown out. And when she starts to get angry, I do feel a lot of this fight or flight uh, response. Well, yeah, because you never know when she's going to attack you. What? Um, how old's your wife? Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Is she willing to go to a therapist? Is she willing to see a psychiatrist? Is she willing to get to the bottom of this? Uh. Pretty much no. She puts it yep. all on me uh, right. that I'm right. the, uh, the cause. But yep. um, next week, uh, I've, I've got a, a therapist that I want her to see about getting some uh, dialectical behavior therapy. Right. And right. Uh, it's right. a start, but I, she's really um, very defensive. She very, has a lot of walls built up around well. her to protect her. Here's, here's, what's, here's the tragic part of this. This wasn't her fault, but it was her responsibility, which is why so many of us work so hard to get kids out of these situations. Rob, I'm not sure you're going to make changes here because she's, old, she's so much older. Now, I'm not saying she's hopeless, but I doubt if she is going to be willing to do something else why is that? Why am I saying that? Because you are her father by proxy. And all of the anger that she built up against him, she can now unleash it on you because you're her peer. You're not her parent. I'm not sure that this dynamic can be changed. And you may have to make changes in your own life. 
You may have to leave this relationship to save your life because Rob, every time she starts in and you never know what it's going to trigger. This is why borderline part of it's so dangerous is that you don't have any rules in your marriage. You don't have any respect. You're not getting any nurturance. You can't give the love you have. And you may have to leave this relationship to save your life before you end up having some kind of cardiac condition or you wear your immunity down to where it's nothing and you don't have the immune system to fight off whatever floats by you. Am I, am I on track? Can you live with this for the next 20 years? Considering no. that her depression is going to get worse. Now, a lot of the borderline behaviors, they can fall away, but the depression is always there. Now, l- let me ask you, are these children who are grown, are they her children too, yours and, and hers? Uh, well, we do not have any children together. Okay. She has five of hers from two previous marriages, yep. and I have two from my previous marriage, mm-hmm. um, so uh, yeah, no kids between us. Okay. I want you, do you have good, solid relationships, healthy relationships with your kids? No. Uh, my uh, first ex-wife got uh, hepatitis C from shooting up meth. And oh uh, she got a big inheritance from her grandmother and uh-huh. spoiled them to the uh, point where um, okay. I could not yeah. compete. Right. I'm looking for whoever knows the two of you and so that you can get some support. But it sounds like you're likely to get support with your therapist, now your psychiatrist. I think it's important for you to sit down with a psychologist or your psychiatrist and talk about how you, Rob, how do you want the next 20 years of your life to look like? You do not deserve to be abused. You are a victim of mental illness in the same way that she is, but you're on the phone with me. I need to advocate for you, especially if she is not going to work the program if she says she's not getting help for herself you have to decide right now right here rob if you are going to live or die in this situation because that's really what it comes down to being and those people who are living with borderline personality disorder are cheering this conversation because they cannot walk on eggshells any longer Right, that's exactly where I'm at, is uh, I'm ready for a divorce if she yep. uh, won't accept this DBT uh, therapy yep. and, and do it and commit to doing it and finishing it for yep. a year, and it could be ten or $15,000 because, yeah, it is uh, damaging my health and my yes. mental health, yep. and I, I'm at the end of the line. Yep, and here's the thing, Rob. Do not tell her it's either this or a divorce. Encourage her. Give yourself a timeline. Maybe it's the end of March. Maybe it's the end of April. You stay with her on this. We've got to get therapy. We've got to get therapy. And then I don't care if you pack a bag and leave. You may have to leave everything behind. But you might want to consider Start moving some things out that you really cherish to a storage unit because she is going to burn down your life if you just walk out the door with the clothes on your back. Plan your escape and just have the divorce papers delivered to her. They will, once you get a divorce, there's an automatic restraining order pop probably. Stay close to your psychiatrist. Talk about how she could react. It's going to be ugly, but once you're done and gone, you are free at last. Free at last, Rob. Get out while you can. 
This is the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia wants to hear from you. Ask your question. 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button. Are you from California, Illinois, New York, Georgia, or any of the other 39 states that charge state income tax? Does your state claim you owe them any amount of back taxes? Or have you not filed in years? Is your heart pounding because you know they're wrong or you just don't have the money? Don't fight the state income tax board alone. The tax doctor is here to help you. The state is much more aggressive than the IRS in collecting taxes. They have the power to take your home, your car, your driver, and business licenses, even garnish your wages, freeze your bank accounts, and go after your spouse. Solve all your income tax problems permanently and keep more of your hard-earned money. Make this 100% guaranteed risk-free call right now. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. That's 800-262-4182. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. Ouch! Well, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers. Here's what our customers had to say. Painless. No more pricking my finger. No finger pricks. Convenience. They delivered it free and they took care of all the paperwork. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, a CGM can help you. It's accurate, easy to use, and if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Plus, get free shipping of your new CGM, and we can bill Medicare for you. Honestly, I had my doubts, but that new CGM is painless. Call now, 800-712-8002, 800-712-8002, 800-712-8002. That's 800-712-8002. Wake up and text. Text and eat. Mm -mm. Text and catch the bus. Text and miss your stop. Wait, 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 wait. Text and be late to work. Sorry, I'm late. Text and work. Text and pretend to work. Text and act surprised when someone calls you out for not working. Who, me? Text and meet up with a friend you haven't seen in forever. Hi. Oh, hey text and complain that they're on their phone the whole time. Text and listen to them complain that you're on your phone the whole time. Uh. Text and whatever. But when you get behind the wheel, give your phone to a passenger. Put it in the glove box. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. That's doihaveprediabetes.org. Wait, did they just say one in three adults has pre-diabetes? That's 33.33333% of adults. That means it could be me, my boss, or my boss's boss, or me, my favorite sister, or my other sister. That's seven members of my 21-person romantic book club. (gasps) Wait, the one in three could be me, my karaoke partner Carol, or ugh, my karaoke enemy Jeff. I'm going to take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Three, two, one. Oh no. Which button am I... Oh. When every second counts, you can't wing it. Uh, guys, a uh, little help up here? In a home fire, you may have less than two minutes to get out. So make a family home fire escape plan. Then practice home fire drills at least twice a year, so everyone knows what to do when they hear... 
Prepare your family at ready.gov slash fire drill. Brought to you by FEMA, the Ad Council, and Make Safe Happen. Donna from Louisiana. The storm just hit, and we went from donating to the food bank to needing it. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. I'm Dr. Claudia McCulloch. I'm a licensed psychologist. I'm here to answer your questions. You know who we are, right? The Dr. Claudia family of friends. And the real friends are the ones you can count on to tell you the truth. Here's Concepcion. She said, should I be worried about my husband? He has to have a half a glass of beer before we go out with friends. He doesn't drink when we're there, but he's got to have some beer before going out. I've asked him about it, and he says he can't explain it, except that it makes him feel more social. Okay, I wouldn't really worry about your man. He's not drinking to excess any other times. But let me tell you what's going on within Concepcion. He has a mild social anxiety disorder. And here's what happens in his brain. He knows he has to go to a party. He knows he's going to be talking with people. And the thought of that makes him nervous makes him anxious as he anticipates the event. So we call that, oh, this is going to be so easy, anticipatory anxiety. The name makes sense, right? You get afraid of being afraid. Now, it feels to me that what he really struggles with is the transition part. Basically, moving out of your house and getting into the car and then going to the event and those initial moments of entering the event before he starts to enjoy himself. He may have some issues with evaluating the environment, finding someone he can speak to. Maybe he's overwhelmed with all the noise and the newness of the environment. But if he doesn't drink more than half of a beer, And as long as he doesn't drink in excess in other parts of his life, or he doesn't start using alcohol as a way to make himself more comfortable in many other environments, I think that he's he's just coping with it. A lot of people come home from work and they have a beer or a glass of wine or... I don't know, maybe it's celebrating just surviving another day. But for him, he really is self-medicating. He's calming himself, but it's not dangerous. Actually, and this is going to be comforting to you, Concepcion, about 60% of men say that having a beer makes them more social. So he's got some compadres there who are with him on that. And uh, men are not as social creatures as we are. We love to talk. When we start talking, the reward centers of our brain really start, they will, they just light up. We love it. Because looking back at the cavemen days, women weren't as strong. We still aren't as physically strong as men. So over these many thousands of years, how have we learned to cope with not being as strong as men? Ah, we're smarter about it. (laughs) What we do is we tend to other people to prove our value. We take care of other people and we are friendly. We are social and that's how we prove our value. And namely, You were usually taking care of the men in the group as well. 
and they see our value in that. We bring comfort and joy, hopefully, to their lives. And in return, they provide us with protection and support. And we give them a voice in the social events in our lives. And it all works out. It is a balance of strengths and weaknesses. Now, I can just hear the feminists out there setting their hair on fire and screaming. But the reality is, this is how we have evolved. We play on our smarts and what we think is our natural nurturance, which comes from the fact that we're the ones who have the babies, and we take care of them. This is really nothing new in society. Feminists and women who are really rabid about women's rights, they can follow whatever they want to. Nobody's telling them they can't. And if that's what you want to do, then you do it. But the reality is that we girls have to be more socially connected in order to, shall I say, enhance our survival. I don't want to say ensure our survival because, you know, we can we can pick up a weapon and defend ourselves as well as a man can. And heaven knows when you look at the settlers, those women were having babies in covered wagons and they were fighting off the enemies as right there, shoulder to shoulder with the men. So yes, we are goddesses. We are we are tough, and uh, and we can do it all. But I would not criticize your husband. I would not make a comment when you observe him having a beer before you go out. Make sure he has a beer available. That they're not in the garage getting warm. They're in the garage refrigerator getting crisp and cold. And uh, understand something that if you have any alcohol in your body. Uh, you can be arrested for drunk driving. Just because you don't have the super high levels, that doesn't mean anything. Well, that's a legal situation. But if an officer smells alcohol on your breath, you can be arrested. So if he has a beer before going to a party, why don't you drive? Let's not uh, create problems. Let's control the controllable. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833 833- 400-50-50. That's 833-400-50-50. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer. And again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? Low-cost airlines. With one call to low-cost airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome, Costa Rica, Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airlines travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-221-6085. 800-221-6085. That's 800-221-6085. Welcome everybody and thanks for tuning in. I'm your host Smokey Cole Bear filling in for Smokey on his birthday. Because after 75 years of... Only you can prevent wildfires. Turns out there's much more to say. Just look at the news. Nearly 90% of wildfires are caused by us humans being careless. And I'm not just talking about obvious things like campfires or letting your totally sweet nephew, Francis, play with matches. I'm talking about dumping your used barbecue coals willy-nilly or parking your car on tall, dry grass. That can lead to... Poof! Guess the song was wrong. We did start the fire. But listen, being a South Carolinian, I respect Mother Nature and her trees, whether coniferous, deciduous, or new car scented. So if you love the outdoors like me, go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention, because fire safety is always in season. 
Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager. Learning the lingo. Today I'm going to help parents translate teen slang. Now, when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying, that's rad. It simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying, totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um, rad just the same. To learn more, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. The Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council present the story of Cynthia and Ed. My mother was always very active and independent, and she was familiar with her neighborhood. But one day, out of the blue, she stopped at the stop sign for much longer than usual. And uh, she didn't know whether she should go forward or, or turn or just stay at the stop sign. She wasn't even really sure where she was at. She was very concerned. It was very unsettling for her. It's important for you to talk to someone about it, to bring the family in on it. I felt so much better after my son told me, Mom, I don't want you to worry or be afraid. I'll be there for you and we'll figure it out. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Some knowledge belongs to us and us alone. The way our girlfriends walk, the way they talk, the way they touch their hair. We hold details that only a sister can know about her girls. But what about our other girls? The ones that we carry with us every day. Can we describe them when everything's right? Can we feel when something's wrong? Our bond with our sister girls gives life. But knowing your breasts can save it. Go to knowyourgirls.org for the facts you need on breast health. That's knowyourgirls.org. Brought to you by Susan G. Coleman and the Ad Council. Melissa from Michigan. I work an extra part-time job serving lunch at my child's school. But I still can't afford to put food on our table. Daniel from California. Choosing whether to pay the rent or pay to fix the car to get to work doesn't leave us with much at all. Now we can't even pay for meals. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Okay, kids, dance gonna teach you how to dance. First, spread your feet apart, then a pump your knee. <laughs> dance like a dad. It's a great way to make a moment with your kids. Visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. This is the Dr. Claudia Show with real help for your life. And here we have Deanna. Now here is the situation that many of you are pondering, whether or not to allow this to happen with your children. She says, our nine-year-old son has suffered terribly with chronic tonsillitis and ear infections, and the pediatrician says it's time to have his tonsils taken out. I've been reading online about the 28 different diseases that kids can get later in their life 
if their tonsils and adenoids are removed. What do you think about this? Okay, I saw that article too because I, I get a stream of articles regarding kids' health, mental health, that kind of thing. Because I think it flies in the face of common sense. Let's just look at the facts. Look at how long your son has been sick and the toll it has taken on him and his education and his social development. And this, all in consideration of him having competent medical care. There's something going on in his tonsils. I hope no one in the house is smoking. Let me just say that, because if so, shame on you. You're contributing to this. Uh, we know that the tonsils and adenoids are an important part of the lymphatic system. Now, the lymphatic system is the system that parallels your blood supply. And you know if you have a blister and you burst it and that clear liquid comes out, Ta-da! It's lymph fluid, right? Because it's part of your immune system. And it is key to the tonsils and adenoids are key to maturing the immune system. But when your kid is chronically sick, is it wise to wait? I mean, once he gets to be an adult, he can still have chronic tonsillitis. If he has some kind of bug in there that we just can't beat back. Oh, but you know, when he's 35, he'll have his tonsils and adenoids and he'll be able to fight off these 28 diseases. Well, yeah, if he makes it that far. This, Deanna, is not a decision that pediatricians take lightly. But think of the number of diagnosable ear infections he's had. How many times has he had fluid in his ears and it didn't become infected? No fever, no tonsillitis, none of that. But it is still in his ears and it makes the world sound to him as though he's underwater. <laughs> And as a result, does he have hearing problems and language processing issues? Because that's what you get when you have chronic middle ear infections. Do you know a kid who gets tonsillitis and it doesn't gravitate toward his ears, spread toward her, his or her ears? Yeah, then sinus infections, then the gut upset from the goo. You know what I'm talking about. The sore throats. The strep, I mean to tell you, talk about misery. And I know that 15 million kids in the U.S. alone under the age of 15 get this kind of surgery every year. And people are going, wow, that many? Yeah, look at how many people are smoking still. Look at the pollution Look at the chemicals we're using to clean our kitchen counters. You got a kid who's sensitive to that, and boom, you're off to the races. Our environments are contributing to this, and the fact that we have overused antibiotics for so many years is contributing to these bugs mutating to the point where we can't knock them down easily. Okay, so let's talk about all of the medications that he's taken, Deanna. So he's been on tons and tons of antibiotics and a whole host of nasal steroids and, and inhalers, steroidal inhalers. So this kid can actually breathe when he lays down and those hugely swollen tonsils don't suffocate him and make him sound like he's snoring. Now, He's got all these antibiotics that he's been through. Maybe that's the problem. That kids who get tonsillectomies may be at risk later in their lives. Because they've just pretty much worn out their ability to benefit from any antibiotics. I got to tell you, I did not see that addressed in the article. And it was really one-sided. 
And it was hysterical because it's, oh my gosh, look at what's happening. And I understand that the researchers worked with uh, over a million Danish ki kids between 79 and 99, and that's a good long time for a study. And about 60,000 of them had had their tonsils removed. Okay, what was the impact of all the treatment on those young bodies that made them vulnerable to these other diseases when they got older? Now, when they were adults, they probably had other problems like colds and nasal allergies and bronchitis. And we oftentimes get that because we're worn out. We are taking care of families. We are working our jobs. We are getting the plunger out in the middle of the night because the three-year-old stuffed the thing with toilet paper. Were these adults smokers? Were they around smokers? Did they have work in industries that made them vulnerable to airborne toxins? There were so many variables, Deanna, in this study that were not addressed that I'm not buying it. In my mind, and when you get a degree in psychology, they really run you through all the research and how it's done and how you should do it if you eventually become a research psychologist. And for those of you who don't know this, um, Patrick Mahomes III, his mother is a research psychologist. And boys get their intelligence from their mothers. What does that tell you about this kid? Have you ever heard, young man, sorry, have you ever heard him speak? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got it all. He's got the talents and the smarts. But I'm not buying this. I looked at the research and I said, oh, no, 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 because you're not answering all of these questions. And what did you do? You immediately leapt to this. Oh, this is related to this. Oh, no, it may be occurring together, but one not causing the other. Yeah. So I think that you need to get the kids tonsils taken out. Because you're not going to let him suffer for years with this stuff in the hopes that he doesn't get a disease as an adult. Oh, I don't think so. This is not logical. It makes no sense. It sounds as though it's time to take this action. Talk with your doctor about what you've read. Maybe he'll refer you to a pulmonologist. And you can ask about the legitimacy of the article's claim in light of their experience. Hey, write a check or, or send it to the insurance company for their time to put your mind at ease. You're the mama. You have got to feel zen-like in your com comfort and confidence that you are making a decision in the best interest of your child. Because that is when you can... Accompany his gurney to the operating room and then see him an hour later or whatever. And he will be on his way to health. Now, when you listen to that pulmonologist, I think you're going to get an earful. No pun intended. Oh, oh, yes, I did. I intended that. Sorry, not sorry. Love the peanut, Reese's peanut butter commercials. Because that's how I feel about most things I say. Get the kid a greater level of health. It'll take him two weeks, and he'll enjoy this health for the rest of his life. Great questions, Deanna. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia wants to hear from you. Ask your question, 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button. If you are trying to quit drinking or doing too many drugs, listen to me. You don't know me and we'll never meet. I had a problem like you once. I drank and used to party a little too much till it got out of control and almost ruined my life. 
I realized I needed help to fix my problem before it totally destroyed me. If you've tried to fix your drinking and drug problem and you know you can't do it alone, you need to call the National Treatment Advisors. They'll immerse you into a 30-day program to replace your old habits with new habits and totally change your life. And if you have PPO private health insurance, the entire program may be covered. Fix your problem right now before it gets any worse. Get clean. Call now and learn more. 800-506-6740. 800-506-6740. That's 800-506-6740. Are you from California, Illinois, New York, Georgia, or any of the other 39 states that charge state income tax? Does your state claim you owe them any amount of back taxes? Or have you not filed in years? Is your heart pounding because you know they're wrong or you just don't have the money? Don't fight the state income tax board alone. The tax doctor is here to help you. The state is much more aggressive than the IRS in collecting taxes. They have the power to take your home, your car, your driver, and business licenses, even garnish your wages, freeze your bank accounts, and go after your spouse. Solve all your income tax problems permanently and keep more of your hard-earned money. Make this 100% guaranteed risk-free call right now. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. That's 800-262-4182. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. (laughs) The Dad Joke. Corny, groan-worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. And kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. (laughs) And with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment and give your kid a laugh. (laughs) It's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. That's really funny. I can't believe he found them. He seems sorry. We very clearly told him not to look up there. I'm honestly impressed that he was able to do it. Right? What, did he balance on that big chair? Yeah, I mean, I guess he'll just know what his gifts are this year. I really thought we had hidden them well. If they can find their presence, they can find a gun. 911, what is your emergency? Every day, eight kids and teens are unintentionally killed or injured by loaded and unlocked guns. Learn how to make your home safer at nfamilyfire.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and N Family Fire. When you shop Goodwill, you don't just bring home a vintage dress or cat lamp. You bring home so much good to your community. Because everything you buy funds local job training and more. Goodwill. Bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. 
Here's Dr. Claudia. We are the best self-help around, and all you have to do is listen. You don't have to work that hard at it. Here's Lauren. Lauren says, what do you know about cuddle parties? Is this a legitimate thing? My friend wants me to go with her, but I don't want it to be a situation where I'm uncomfortable because people are coming on to me and want to hook up. What do I need to know to make a decision about this? Okay. Now, you haven't been listening to the show for the past couple of years, have you? Because I've talked about the professional cuddlers. These are people who are paid to cuddle you. Now, they don't have any kind of license or certification like psychologists and therapists need. But what they offer is simply human contact. Uh, Now, there are professional cuddlers and lay cuddlers. And uh, I'm thinking that that's kind of an amateur person. A professional cuddler has probably been doing it for a while. Um, And they do offer hugs, which we know have a therapeutic benefit. It is not sexual, the cuddler therapist will offer light conversation, snuggling, a friendly massage on an hourly basis. We know that hugging improves our mood, turns down the volume of the stress response, and it can boost your immune system. It's becoming quite a hot topic, honestly, Lauren, in the wellness community, which makes sense since many people don't have a partner uh, to who can provide them with hugs. And I want you to listen to this part. Many people are skin starved. They don't get that affection. They might be less starved if they had a dog or cat to cuddle up with them and give them that dump of oxytocin, which is that cuddle chemical in the body. It creates um, bonding and secure feelings. Cuddle parties are not designed to be orgies. They are opportunities to connect with other people and get cuddles. Now, you may have seen some of the more well-known and savvy social media people using opportunities to hug police officers and strangers during protests, even if the situation is ripe for violence. And this is what they're doing. They're attempting to spread positivity. Now, you know the concept of emotions being infectious. If there are angry people over there, plink, plink, your antenna go up. Because if they're angry over there, that stuff can come over here. And that's why we say, Get into an environment that's peaceful and loving as you can, because then you feel better. If you get a brief squeeze from your main squeeze before you head out for the day, this is what we know. If you have conflict with someone else during the day, you're likely not to be reactive in an angry fashion, and your mood is less likely to be affected. So basically, what we're saying is, when you get some loving like that, it gives you a kind of emotional armor. And part of that is because it reduces your blood pressure. It reduces your heart rate. So you're not here roiling ready to slap and snap at anybody. You are not on edge when someone hugs you. And I don't know if there are any studies that it has to be someone you know or like, but when someone hugs you, 
your body, without you knowing it, releases that oxytocin. No wonder people are so addicted to it, right? And and you feel calm and safer and your emotions are more well well regulated you know it's not a, like an ekg it's kind of like ooh a little wave cruising along we also know that people who are in pain if someone just holds their hand they are better able to cope with it there's a whole lot about this this touching stuff. And a book that changed my life was a sociologist wrote it, Ashley Montague. It's called Touching, The Significance of Human Skin. It's kind of a big book. I would never expect you to read it. But it talks about, and he did a lot of research, animals, people. We know why animals do the kinds of things they do. Mama kittens, they lick their babies, their bellies. Why are they doing that? To jumpstart their digestion. We can't miss if we follow nature's logic and common sense because everything has a purpose. Every behavior has a purpose. Everything we do is purposeful, even if it's invisible and we can't see it. I would like for you, honestly, Lauren, to go to this cuddle party and report to us what happens. Because I am certain that other people share the same concerns that you do. And maybe they don't want to go because they think it might end up being a, a sexual event. It's not intended to be. But it really may benefit you if you're a person who deals with anxiety. You may learn that maybe this kind of professional or amateur cuddling will really help you to achieve a calmness that you may not be able to get from medications. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Are you from California, Illinois, New York, Georgia, or any of the other 39 states that charge state income tax? Does your state claim you owe them any amount of back taxes? Or have you not filed in years? Is your heart pounding because you know they're wrong or you just don't have the money? Don't fight the state income tax board alone. The tax doctor is here to help you. The state is much more aggressive than the IRS in collecting taxes. They have the power to take your home, your car, your driver's and business licenses, even garnish your wages, freeze your bank accounts, and go after your spouse. Solve all your income tax problems permanently and keep more of your hard-earned money. Make this 100% guaranteed risk-free call right now. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. That's 800-262-4182. You're listening to The Dr. Claudia Show. Your life, your relationships. A Smilecom Media production. Sweet strawberry icing. You were strolling along in goodwill when just past that mid-century side table and denim jacket you spotted them, nestled in their display case. Miniature donut earrings. Oh, yes, yes. Your favorite half breakfast pastry, half all day dessert food, made into your favorite form of ear candy. Oh my. Those good sprinkles have satisfied some unknown hunger within you. Shh, do you smell that? That's the sugary scent of shopping success. For this is Goodwill. And with every item you buy, you fund local job training and more. So go forth. Bring home those donut earrings and bring home so much good to your community. Goodwill. Bring good 
Home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Wake up and text. Text and eat. Mm -mm. Text and catch the bus. Text and miss your stop. Wait, 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 wait. Text and be late to work. Sorry, I'm late. Text and work. Text and pretend to work. Text and act surprised when someone calls you out for not working. <clears throat> Who, me? Text and meet up with a friend you haven't seen in forever. Hi. Oh, hey. Text and complain that they're on their phone the whole time. <sighs> Text and listen to them complain that you're on your phone the whole time. Ugh. Text and whatever. But when you get behind the wheel, give your phone to a passenger. Put it in the glove box. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has prediabetes, with early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. That's doihaveprediabetes.org. Wait, did they just say one in three adults has prediabetes? That's 33.33333% of adults. That means it could be me, my boss, or my boss's boss, or me, my favorite sister, or my other sister. That's seven members of my 21-person romantic book club. <gasps> Wait, the one in three could be me, my karaoke partner Carol, or ugh, my karaoke enemy Jeff. I'm going to take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Hey, y'all. Jeff Foxworthy here. Now, if you've ever found yourself repeating the same thing over and over for 75 years, you might be Smokey Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. That's why I'm filling in for Smokey to switch things up, because there's a lot more to say. And I should know because my grandfather was a firefighter. And one of the things he taught me is that the people that love the outdoors the most are often the ones accidentally starting wildfires, which means always BYOB. <laughs> no, bring your own bucket to the campfire. And be extra careful with things like burning yard trimmings. Don't just walk away or chances are you might be starting a wildfire. So for the love of the outdoors, go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager learning the lingo. Today I'm going to help parents translate teen slang. Now, when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying, that's rad. It simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um... Rad, just the same. To learn more, visit adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. The possibility of lung cancer can be pretty scary, especially if you're one of approximately 8 million current or former smokers at high risk. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know that now there's a breakthrough low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early, and it only takes 60 seconds. You stop smoking, now start screening. For an easy quiz to see if you're eligible, visit SaveByTheScan.org. It could save your life. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. Hey, Kevin. Thinking about retirement? I've thought about it, but it's too late for me to save. With Avvo, a retirement coach, it's never too late. Where can I learn more? Visit AceYourRetirement.org today. A message from AARP and the Ad Council.
welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. We're pleased as punch that you've joined us, so come on in and sit down. Let's talk about your life and relationships with your family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, your boss. Nobody's off limits. I'm licensed psychologist Dr. Claudia McCulloch, your host, answering your questions, America. Call me at 833 400 or go online at drclaudia.net, click on the Ask Me button. On Facebook, I'm at Dr. Claudia McCulloch, M-C-C-U-L-L-O-C-H, cha-cha-cha. Ooh, I'd love to hear about how many of you ha- are now paying a debt you don't owe because of your husband's behavior. Here's Vivian. My husband's endocrinologist is working with him to keep him from a diabetic diagnosis. He's borderline. One of the things the doctor recommends is that we eat at home most of the time. We were really enjoying going out to eat now that the kids are gone. I still have a very intense work life, and I was looking forward to a break every now and then. I'm back in the kitchen. Yep, now I'm back in the kitchen. I have to say I'm pretty angry about this. I feel as though he was not disciplined in his food choices, and now I'm the one paying the price. How do we achieve both goals? Keeping him healthy and keeping me out of the kitchen. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, Vivian, that That doctor is aware of that Harvard study that says that the more you cook at home, the lower your diabetes risk is. If you make your own meals, just 11 to 14 of them a week, you cut your risk by 13%, more than people who made fewer than six meals at home a week. Home cooks, we use fresher ingredients And there's that whole dynamic of rushing through meals at restaurants because, hey, have you noticed the music that they play? During the really busiest times, the music is much more upbeat because your your body just wants to keep along with it, right? Oh, they're so tricky. Yeah, they do manipulate the environment in order to get people both in and out of the seats. Remember... This is business. This is commerce. This is not home. And the faster the pace causes you to eat significantly more food. Why is that? Because the brain doesn't have time to register that, oh, hey, I'm full. There's a little slice of the brain that says, oh, I'm so hungry, I'm starving. There's a little slice of the brain that says, you're full. Okay, so the part of your brain that says I'm hungry makes you start eating and you're shoveling it in. And by the time it gets down to your gut, down into the intestines, that really do signal to the brain, we're done. You have already piled in another couple hands full of French fries. And then suddenly you're so uncomfortable. It's like, oh, I've overeaten. Well, why didn't you stop eating? Well, because, you know, I was shoveling it in with both hands. (laughs) And my brain needed some time to catch up. Sit down with your husband as unemotionally as you can. Tell him just how angry you are about this. First of all, you have jeopardized your health. And now... Your decisions have slopped over onto me. This is not my fault, but now you're making it my responsibility because of your choices. Have a plan. Print it out so that he can look at it. The bottom line is he is going to have to work as hard as you. Otherwise, there is no investment, Vivian. He still has his cake and eats it too, and steak and fries and burgers, and yeah. Uh Uh-huh. 
So the both of you are going to do the food shopping together. Oh, he's going to love that. And make selections of healthier foods that you both will enjoy and actually eat. Do not put those rice cakes in your buggy, in your grocery cart, because you're not going to eat them. This is all about intention. You intend to eat them with a little bit of peanut butter. But I can't tell the difference between these rice cakes and the styrofoam stuff that comes in my Amazon packages. No, no, no. Don't buy the foods you think you should buy. Make the selections of the healthier, not healthiest, the healthier foods that you both will actually eat and enjoy. One afternoon, the both of you should prepare some dishes that can be frozen because it makes a pretty good amount, right? And there are likely ready-made frozen meals that meet his dietary requirements. There has to be. I've seen this stuff. The cases, in the freezer cases in your grocery, they have so many options. Organic, low salt, no sugar, gluten-free, lactose, whatever. They are there. And he can spice this stuff up however he likes. And while you're at the supermarket with him, take him for a tour where the hot and cold deli options are. In case you're running late from work, he thinks, Mwahaha, this is an opportunity for me to drive through the drive through and get some of that fat and salt and sugar that I love. Nuh-uh. When you call him and tell him that you're running late, you say, you drive, you go into Publix. You go into Fresh Market, Brookshire's. And you get something hot from that deli. No mac and cheese. Get the roasted chicken, not the fried. And you may have to be his mother in that moment because he doesn't know what he's doing. And remember, you're looking to get out of the kitchen, not into the ICU. Cardiac ICU, you don't want to be there. This is going to require some training. And I'd rather have you calling and reminding him than being in that kitchen or that hospital. So he gets disgusted with it after a while. He doesn't like the offerings at home. And you want to go out to a restaurant. They have options for healthier eating. They have to if they are going to stay in the restaurant business. When he goes to a restaurant, he is going to have to evaluate what is in my best interest right now to eat not that i can and can't have that but is this healthy for me and if he has those attitudes when he goes to that hot and cold deli at your market maybe he's going to learn to get what he wants for tonight and maybe get something to take for lunch tomorrow because it's savory and he can heat it up and it's going to be really delicious. And if he's smart and he's a really good husband, which you're going to have to help him be, he's going to bring home a little bit of this and a little bit of that as a sample. Let's go ahead and jump in on this both feet. Give yourselves two months to make the changes this is a lot he's been practicing poor eating habits for all of his life and you get good at what you practice and it's going to take some time but if you go all out and make an attempt to rearrange everything at once you're going to fail it's going to be disheartening go out to a restaurant two nights a week enjoy yourselves he's going to have to learn how to make the healthier choices he can't have steak and fries he can get a steak and take it home and cut it up and put it in a salad. But for now, he's going to have to go with the catch of the day and rice. It's either that or he's going to go 
to the hospital. It's his choice. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia wants to hear from you. Ask your question. 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. Ouch! Well, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers. Here's what our customers had to say. Painless. No more pricking my finger. No finger pricks. Convenience. They delivered it free, and they took care of all the paperwork. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, a CGM can help you. It's accurate, easy to use, and if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Plus, get free shipping of your new CGM and we can bill Medicare for you. Honestly, I had my doubts, but that new CGM is painless. Call now. 800-712-8002. 800-712-8002. 800-712-8002. That's 800-712-8002. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer, and again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? Low-cost airlines. With one call to low-cost airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome, Costa Rica, Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airline travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-221-6085. 800-221-6085. 800-221-6085. That's 800-221-6085. The Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council present the story of Tom and Levi. Tom is the smartest man I know. He's been a professor at two major universities, been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, he told me that he was having um, problems in his classes. I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. And he was telling them that he was doing it as a favor to them. But I think in reality, he just wanted to get out of there. Um, I was really starting to worry because I saw something was wrong. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives. But he was there beside me. And my love for him was just immense. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Some knowledge belongs to us and us alone. The way our girlfriends walk, the way they talk, the way they touch their hair. We hold details that only a sister can know about her girls. But what about our other girls? The ones that we carry with us every day. Can we describe them when everything's right? Can we feel when something's wrong? Our bond with our sister girls gives life. But knowing your breasts can save it. Go to knowyourgirls.org for the facts you need on breast health. That's knowyourgirls.org. Brought to you by Susan G. Coleman and the Ad Council. Hey, Kevin, thinking about saving for retirement? Yeah, but how do I start? It's easy with Avo, a retirement coach. Let's learn the Avo bet. For taking action. Not anxiety? No, Kevin, you're gonna be fine. You sick? Barely. V is for variety. Huh, change up my strategy. 
Okay. Pose for optimize your savings. Let Avo lead the way. Visit aceyourretirement.org today. A message from AARP and the Ad Council. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance, <coughs> reminding you that when you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie's Fund. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. Do you want to see your path more clearly? Don't like where you are? Want to go someplace else? Well, you can't get there unless you know what's going on. And this is the Dr. Claudia Show, and we help you to see what's happening. So you can plan for a better future than the present that you have. And here's Cliff, and he says, Our seven-year-old son has dragon breath. Seriously, how can someone this young have such awful breath? He doesn't take medications, not even vitamins. He hates onions and garlic and whatever, anything strong. He doesn't have that sinus drip junk like my boss that gives him nauseating breath. What could it be? We took him to the dentist, we've taken him to the pediatrician, and all we heard was, well, it could be this or that or whatever. You've seen a gazillion kids, what could this be? Uh, You need to see one more doctor, and I'm going to explain why. You need to see a child ear, nose, and throat doctor, a pediatric ENT, also called an otolaryngologist, if you want to get fancy with the big fancy words. Okay, they have the tools and the experience to look at everything. I betcha he's got something stuck up there in his sinuses, kind of where the nasal passages connect with the throat, and it's stuck there. Maybe a piece of tissue when he was trying to dig out some debris. He's, he's seven years old. He's past putting crayons up his nose, which is the number one thing that doctors find in children's noses. Oh, followed by French fries. Yes, indeedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, Dr. Claudia really has a lot of experience with this stuff because this show is exactly what happened in my practice for 25 years. People would call and say, can I just ask you a question? And now you write in and call and ask me a question. So he's got an infection going on because an infection is what gives you that dragon breath. Now, if you've ever had a cough and it's a productive cough, I'm not going to say anything more about that. You can smell how bad that infection is. And everybody else around you can. What did you say, Cliff? You said... That sinus drip junk like your boss has. Yeah, your boss needs to learn about the Neil Med sinus rinse. But uh, other than that, the pediatric ENTs, they know the kids. He will probably or she will probably scope. And that's just, it's a really thin little tube. And it kind of tickles more than anything else. And you know, your son's not going to be wild about this. We cannot have this kind of thing cooking in his sinuses. Do you have any idea how close that stuff is to his brain? It's right there. We're not doing this. Now, he can, the ENT, he or she, they're very skilled at this. They can work very quickly. Uh, And if he's got nothing stuck there, I mean, the least they can do is some cultures, some swabbing to see if he's got something growing in his throat. And if not, then you may have to look further into the gut. 
a pediatric gastroenterologist is the person to go to. But this is not something to dismiss just because it can't be determined. It's not okay for a doctor to say, well, it could be this, it could be that. You know, let's get a little bit of this done, a little bit, uh uh-uh. Go to the ENT and stick with this until you find an answer. Now, if the local doctors don't have a clue, and if you're able to get to a children's hospital, which is typically associated with larger urban areas, uh, or children's hospital, maybe not even a large urban area, but associated with a university. They are the superheroes of children's medicine. In my experience, they are rock stars. And they have dealt with the toughest of the tough. I have no idea how these people got to be who they are. But they are amazing. They can figure these things out. They, they really do. They've got that spidey sense. And they will stand there and go, well, da 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 and you answer the question, and you why are they asking this question? Well, turns out, as they'll later teach you, this is connected to this and this and that. And in kids, it goes over here and not over there. And then you're just standing there going, wow, can I follow you around for a couple of years and know what you know? But they will not leave any stone unturned because this is not typical of a healthy child. But let's start with the ear, nose, and throat doctor and have them do a little exploration and see what's going on. He might have snorted something up into his sinuses if he was coughing or laughing or getting ready to sneeze and things just got lodged in places where they don't belong and there's no escape route. That's what we're looking for now, Cliff. Do not live with being dismissed. If you have a question ever about your child, you need to get an answer that makes sense to you And there's a clear path for minimizing the frequency, intensity, and duration of the symptoms. That's what recovery is. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. We'll be right back. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. If you are trying to quit drinking or doing too many drugs, listen to me. You don't know me and we'll never meet. I had a problem like you once. I drank and used to party a little too much till it got out of control and almost ruined my life. I realized I needed help to fix my problem before it totally destroyed me. If you've tried to fix your drinking and drug problem and you know you can't do it alone, you need to call the National Treatment Advisors. They'll immerse you into a 30-day program to replace your old habits with new habits and totally change your life. And if you have PPO, private health insurance, the entire program may be covered. Fix your problem right now before it gets any worse. Get clean. Call now and learn more. 800-506-6740. 800-506-6740. That's 800-506-6740. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org slash caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. 
The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> the dad joke. Corny, grown worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. <laughs> and kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> and with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment and give your kid a laugh. <laughs> It's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. <laughs> That's really funny. Sweet strawberry icing. You were strolling along in goodwill when just past that mid-century side table and denim jacket you spotted them, nestled in their display case. Miniature donut earrings. Oh, yes! Yes! Your favorite half-breakfast pastry, half-all-day dessert food made into your favorite form of ear candy. Oh, my. Those bejeweled sprinkles have satisfied some unknown hunger within you. Shh, do you smell that? That's the sugary scent of shopping success. For this is Goodwill. And with every item you buy, you fund local job training and more. So go forth. Bring home those donut earrings. And bring home so much good to your community. Goodwill. Bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. Wake up and text. Text and eat. Mm -mm. Text and catch the bus. Text and miss your stop. Wait, 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 wait. Text and be late to work. Sorry, I'm late. Text and work. Text and pretend to work. Text and act surprised when someone calls you out for not working. <clears throat> Who, me? Text and meet up with a friend you haven't seen in forever. Hi. Oh, hey. Text and complain that they're on their phone the whole time. Ugh. Text and listen to them complain that you're on your phone the whole time. Ugh. Text and whatever. But when you get behind the wheel, give your phone to a passenger. Put it in the glove box. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance. Say hi, guys. When I adopted them, I discovered that they both have incredible personalities. Chance's sole purpose in life is to love and to be loved. Frankie is a little bit of a scoundrel and always entertaining. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie's Fund. Text and work. Text and pretend to work. Text and act surprised when someone calls you out for not working. Who, me? Text and whatever. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. Thanks for joining us today. This wouldn't be any fun without you. Here's a question from Tony. Apparently, he doesn't like something that I said earlier about women being goddesses. You say that women are goddesses. I'm sorry, but I just don't see it. Prove it. Okay, well, let's get our terms straight first, all right? Um, a goddess is a female deity. That's where the whole god part of the goddess comes in, Tony, just in case you don't know. Adored for her beauty. Now, understand this. Beauty comes in different forms. 
And since proof requires that I demonstrate the truth of something by either evidence or argument, I can go both ways on this. We do lots of things, and we have remarkable talents and skills that you don't see on television or on the news or in the movies, so we, didn't, we just don't get credit in your mind for our goddessness, Tony. And the same goes for you men. That's where your confusion and disbelief are coming from. And since no one is following you single dads, going into the grocery store, buying feminine hygiene products for your teenage daughter because her mother isn't there anymore. And since no one is following the rest of us workaday people around, and apparently you don't have a goddess in your life, Tony. And maybe you have a woman in your life, but she doesn't demonstrate these kinds of values. Let me, let me give you a hint as to who we are. Now, like I said, you may not believe any of this, but the research bears it out. That we do home repairs. Uh-huh. Look around the next time you go into Home Depot, if you actually go into Home Depot, and uh, women are doing more than just picking out paint colors. Yeah. 71% of us do home repairs. And yes, 66% of us have power tools. I have my own. My impact driver has saved lives, I think. <laughs> and we refinish furniture to make sure he gets that Dodger blue cabinet he wants. We can and will continue to do things like change the oil in the car. However, they have got to do something about that blasted filter. It's got to be easier to get off than what it is. Eventually, someone is going to design that thing in a way that makes rational sense, but okay. So we find maybe a great lamp at a garage sale and it needs to be rewiring. Easy peasy usually need a straight slot screwdriver for that and the right kind of wire and maybe a different assembly where the light bulb sits so you see some women lots of women know lots of things about how to get this stuff done now if you give us a hundred dollars we're not going to go shopping we're going to hire a cleaning lady so that they can do the usual stuff so we can get to the project we want to get to. And no, most of us aren't paying twenty more than $20 for any kind of beauty product. Frankly, my dear Tony, there just isn't that much difference between a super expensive moisturizer and just the one you get off the shelf at the grocery store. And you can keep your designer jeans. I don't know what you're hearing about these other women, but we're not paying more than $40 for them because, you know, we're saving for college, and college isn't cheap. And maybe we didn't get that college education, but we are going to make darn sure that our kid gets it if she wants it. And no, we're not spending hundreds of dollars at a hairstylist. Three-fourths of us, we're not going to pay more than $30 for a haircut. And no, we don't do anything fancy or expensive to relax. Just give us a few minutes, maybe some peace and quiet in the bathroom. We can take a bath, maybe a good book. We're fine, thanks. But there are those times we want to watch TV. Yeah, so when you look at how little we live with and how much we give to others, we, uh, we're doing pretty well. And we also take care of the other business you enjoy, Tony. And more than half of us, we take care of that business uh, more than once a week. So you see, we still have this joy of life thing operating. Now, we can stand over a patient and repair a rotten heart valve 
while we create life. We can stand in a courtroom and hold a person accountable for heinous crimes, all the while walking back and forth in front of that jury. And we're not concerned about our baby bump. We are concerned about making a case that will put a dangerous person in jail for decades and protect your life. That baby, she's just doing her own thing in there. She's just growing. Yeah, there we are. Now, that's a, there's a spectacularly obvious reason for why we're goddesses. We create life, and it used to be we had to have your cooperation, and now we don't need that anymore. I'm not saying that that's the healthiest way to go, but for some women, they want to have children, but they don't want to have a husband. Maybe they read that study that said that men stresses, yes, men stress their wives more than the children do. That says something, doesn't it? It's better if we have a mate, but if we have to go it alone or we choose to go it alone, this has been done forever and ever. Hundreds of thousands of men left to go to World War II and their wives were pregnant. They didn't come back. So we know how to get the job done because we're strong and and we're good girls too. Because 71% of us say our families give us the most pleasure. And a third of us, we call our mothers every day. So there you are, Tony. While not all of us are raving beauties, beauty comes in a remarkable number of ways. Competence, caring, commitment. We're smart. Because, you see, most of us are real women, not the ones you see in the magazine or on those naughty channels or those naughty websites. We're real women. Oh, we've got power tools. And we cook and we clean and we take care of the kids we gave birth to or we got them from somebody else. Thank you, women. We work outside the home in order to add to the family's coffers. We don't spend money like crazy. We are conscientious. We are community minded. And we know that the only way to change the world is by changing what goes on in our homes. And that includes hoisting that ladder out of the garage, carrying it up those four or five steps, setting it up, swapping out that burned out light bulb. Tony, if all of that isn't being a goddess, then we need to redefine the definition. Think about all of that. And I want us to think about Daylight saving time, not daylight savings time. Daylight saving time starts Sunday morning at 2 o'clock. Warning, warning, warning. Because most of us are so spent, we cannot afford to lose one more hour of sleep. Prepare yourself. Don't go gung-ho crazy getting things done this weekend. Cruise a little bit. Because this time of year, when we switch time zones or time frames, or we lose an hour, gain an hour, either one of those, cause a, it just causes more car accidents. So be careful, be mindful, and get some rest this weekend because you're going to lose an hour. Uh, unlike when we gain an hour, but it's so dark all the time, we all feel depressed. So this is a great time of year. I know you want to get out there and have at it, but don't. Get some rest. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. We want to see you here on Monday. Dr. Claudia wants to hear from you. Ask your question. 833-400-5050. That's 833-400-5050. Or go online at drclaudia.net and click on the Ask Me button.
Are you from California, Illinois, New York, Georgia, or any of the other 39 states that charge state income tax? Does your state claim you owe them any amount of back taxes? Or have you not filed in years? Is your heart pounding because you know they're wrong or you just don't have the money? Don't fight the state income tax board alone. The tax doctor is here to help you. The state is much more aggressive than the IRS in collecting taxes. They have the power to take your home, your car, your driver's and business licenses, even garnish your wages, freeze your bank accounts, and go after your spouse. Solve all your income tax problems permanently and keep more of your hard-earned money. Make this 100% guaranteed risk-free call right now. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. 800-262-4182. That's 800-262-4182. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. Ouch! Well, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers. Here's what our customers had to say. Painless. No more pricking my finger. No finger pricks. Convenience. They delivered it free, and they took care of all the paperwork. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, a CGM can help you. It's accurate, easy to use, and if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Plus, get free shipping of your new CGM and we can bill Medicare for you. Honestly, I had my doubts, but that new CGM is painless. Call now. 800-712-8002. 800-712-8002. 800-712-8002. That's 800-712-8002. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. That's doihaveprediabetes.org. Wait, did they just say one in three adults has pre-diabetes? That's 33.33333% of adults. That means it could be me, my boss, or my boss's boss, or me, my favorite sister, or my other sister. That's seven members of my 21-person romantic book club. <gasps> Wait, the one in three could be me, my karaoke partner Carol, or ugh, my karaoke enemy Jeff. I'm going to take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Smokey Cole Bear, filling in for Smokey on his birthday. Because after 75 years of... Only you can prevent wildfires. Turns out there's much more to say. Just look at the news. Nearly 90% of wildfires are caused by us humans being careless. And I'm not just talking about obvious things like campfires or letting your totally sweet nephew, Francis, play with matches. I'm talking about dumping your used barbecue coals willy-nilly or parking your car on tall, dry grass. That can lead to poof. Guess the song was wrong. We did start the fire. But listen, being a South Carolinian, I respect Mother Nature and her trees, whether coniferous, deciduous, or new car scented. So if you love the outdoors like me, Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention, because fire safety is always in season. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Opiates has taken everything and everyone I've ever loved away from me. Everything. I blew my ankle out and I got prescribed pain pills by my doctor. If making my detox public is going to help somebody, I'm all for it. I just wish I would have had a warning. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth. Spread the truth. A message from Truth, the Ad Council, and ONDCP. One in three adults has prediabetes. That means it could be you, your best man, your worst man. <gasps> Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org to know where you stand. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its prediabetes awareness partners.
Welcome to the Dr. Claudia Show. Dr. Claudia is ready to answer your questions. Call now, 833-400-5050. Here's Dr. Claudia. That's right. I'm answering your questions because the more you know, the smoother it will go. And thank you, Sarah, for sending an article over called The Five Ways Daylight Saving Time. Well, why don't I just say messes with your health? You feel groggy the morning after. Number two, your heart attack risk increases. That's something. 25%? Wow. Okay, we already know that we have more heart attacks and strokes on Monday mornings than any other time of the week. But now this is really ramping it up. Uh, You're less productive. Okay, I get that. You might injure yourself. Yeah, because what, you're groggy. And you get sleepy behind the wheel, once again, because you have uh, you haven't had enough sleep. Fatal accidents. Uh, research from Stanford and Johns Hopkins. Fatal accidents rose by 6% the day after the clocks sprung forward. Okay, this is a serious threat to our well-being. I, I wish these people would stick with daylight saving time. This is just... The one that I think makes the most sense. It's it's crazy. But, you know, here comes spring. Get out there. Get that vitamin D in your skin. Come on. We need for everybody to feel better, look better. Okay. Yeah. Go out and stand in the sun. I know. Okay. Here's Billy Joe. He says, my wife and I are doing great. We retired several years ago and are making our way to some big decisions about where and how we're going to live. We don't have a lot to worry about since the kids are grown and are successful adults. Nice job, Billy Joe. This is all very exciting, but also stressful. I'm noticing that I'm having thoughts of, and apparently I'm making comments lately about feeling old. Could I really be concerned about that, or am I just going through a phase? You can be both, actually. Um, Life is ever-evolving and fluid. Yeah, I mean, stuff comes out of left field, stuff comes out of the sky, as it did in Nashville this uh, past Tuesday morning. And suddenly, life is very different, usually not in a positive way. And as we get older, we feel more vulnerable. And maybe you do have a couple of aches and pains that you didn't have before. And all of a sudden, you're paying way too much attention to them. But about a third of men fear feeling physically old. And uh, and this could be a phase that is kind of paralleling this transition that you're making in life. Because you've got some really big ticket items you're deciding on here. And the older you get, the less runway you have to make mistakes. That's why that whole 2008 economic collapse was just catastrophic for some people. Uh, Now, you're likely to have a day or two where you just feel lazy. And then you go, "Uh uh-oh, what's wrong? Just remember that you have been on the hamster wheel of the work and family responsibilities for so long that you really need some time to descend before you land. Yeah. You're not at cruising altitude, and then suddenly you're on the ground. That is not a good thing. You have to descend. Let yourself wind down. You have been going full throttle for so many years that you're tired. Get some rest so you can restore and revitalize yourself. If you need a note from me to give you permission... (laughs) I can do that. Uh, 15% of men worry about declining mental health, and about 12% of you worry about outliving your savings. But not much else bothers you boys. You're still likely adjusting to retirement, and you're figuring out where. Oh, the where is a big deal. Where are you going to live? which means you're going to have to do some traveling and spending some time. And when you do that, you're spending your money. You see what I mean? About 12% of you are worried about outliving your resources. But you also probably know that if you're resting too much, you're probably rusting. So get in there and decide on a mild stretching, 
maybe some free weights, maybe a little cardio. Don't go whole hog, just a little bit at a time. Stop treating yourself to all those goodies. Yeah, I know that you like to get up and have a couple of Oreos with your coffee. Get the thins ones, mostly cookie, not as much cream filling. The cream filling is what's the rats in that study that proved that the Oreo cream filling is more addictive and sought after than morphine and heroin. Do you hear me? <laughs> Billy Joe, don't end up like a morphine addicted rat. Uh, if you get up and you eat sugar, uh, that sugar is going to slow your thinking. Oh, any time of the day, really. Um, and it can have a really serious impact on your brain functioning. So uh, take a little time to sit down with your honey bunny and put together just a basic, easy to do plan of staying healthy. What this is mostly about is not about working up the sweat. Uh, but being aware of what you're doing and make small corrections. What I want you to start working on is that packing and purging process or purge and pack because you have a lot more stuff in that house than you even know about. And anybody who has moved will tell you, you can't put a lot in a box. And it takes a really long time. So campaign for your kids to come and start getting their stuff out because you say that they're successful adults. Okay, they can rent a storage as well as you can. Have them come visit one at a time. Get their stuff together. No, you're not going to ship it to them. They have to come look through it and decide. And whatever they don't want, you'll make arrangements for it to be either given away or tossed it's necessary that they come and say goodbye to the home that they grew up in. I'm assuming they grew up there. And uh, you've probably moved their stuff around for years if you're like every other parent I know. And as you study your next move, get started on it. Take it from me. It takes a long time. Make smart use of your time and resources. But you're going to feeling that fear factor pulse again in no time at all. Okay, I don't know who said this, but I love it. Six-year-olds laugh 300 times a day. Adults laugh only 15 to 100 times a day. Be six again. This is the Dr. Claudia Show. The Dr. Claudia Show educates and informs. No therapeutic relationship is established between the listener and Dr. Claudia. No liability will be assumed by Dr. Claudia or this station for any alleged damage. For professional help, please consult a specialist. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. Ouch! Well, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers. Here's what our customers had to say. Painless. No more pricking my finger. No finger pricks. Convenience. They delivered it free, and they took care of all the paperwork. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times,